Welcome to today's episode. Today, we're going to talk about Azure resource management templates. We're going to talk about how and why we want to learn about them. And on today's episode, I have a very special guest with me. I have Barbara Forbes from the Netherlands on today's show. Welcome to the Azure Enablement Show. I am April Edwards. I'm a senior software engineer here at Microsoft. So welcome to the show. And in this show, we're going to have technical conversations with trusted experts, addressing some of the most common questions that you might have and I might have, addressing some of those obstacles as well that are often found when we're navigating through our cloud journey. I'm really excited about this episode today because I have a very, very special guest. I have Barbara Forbes coming in from the Netherlands who is an automation expert and an IT consultant in her day job. Welcome, Barbara. Hi. Really, really excited to have you here. So today we're going to talk about ARM templates and really how to learn about ARM templates. So when I started first working in Azure, I, I just didn't know where to go, how to learn about them. And I could see that we could generate an ARM template in the portal. And I wasn't sure if they'd be beneficial to me in the long run, how I could use them long term, but I really wanted to embrace infrastructure as code. And I want to be able to scale and be able to build things quickly in the cloud without making mistakes. Because I, for one, am really, really good at making mistakes when I'm doing things manually. So I really want to hear about your learning journey, how you learned about how learning how to write ARM templates and how to deploy it. Yeah, well, like you said, when you're uh, working in Azure and you're clicking around in your portal and you're learning about all the resources and it's all a lot of fun, but at one stage you want to have some sort of automation. So you want to be able to deploy quicker, more consistently, and then you learn about ARM templates. And when I first learned about it, I thought, well, infrastructure as code as a whole, it's, it's, it's intimidating. There's a lot going on and how do you get started with those things? And uh, there's one way that you already mentioned that I uh, really like because it's a very good introduction from your own environment and I can show you actually, is where you can use the Azure portal. So let's say you have your own resources already available. So here I have all the resources for a virtual machine mm -hmm. and I can click on one of those resources or I can click on all of them. And every menu in Azure has this little button export template. Mm -hmm. So if I click on that, I get an overview. Well, basically I get an ARM template. This is an ARM template with all the resources that I already know. So I click through them, I know what they do, and I can see here exactly how the ARM template would work. Now, this is a generated ARM template and it shows. It's uh, not something I would use in production, but mm -hmm. it is a nice introduction to find out how is an ARM template structured and what can I expect? Yeah, absolutely. Because it gives you that actual structure and layout of how to write an ARM template. Because if you haven't worked with JSON before, it can be really intimidating. Yeah. Very so cool. This is a great introduction mm -hmm. to your very first ARM template. <laughs> awesome. So where do we go from here? So I've built something in the portal, I've deployed it, and I have an ARM template, but I might need to build something from scratch or I want to scale it. And I actually need to understand how to read an ARM template and then how to deploy it again. So I can I can generate an ARM template, but where do I go next? I need to learn more. I need to dig deeper. What Take me on your journey. How did you learn how to author ARM templates and how to actually use them properly? Now, there are a few different ways to go when you want to learn about ARM templates. And for me, I learn by example. I watch examples and I look through them and I find try to find out how it works and what happens if I change something. Mm -hmm. So that's, for, one, for me, a great way to learn. And what you have available for there, for that, I can show you the, the uh, Azure Quick Start templates. Mm -hmm. And this is the GitHub repository where they are stored. And here you have ARM template examples. And there are a lot of examples. And this scroll is actually going too slow. Look how many examples. <laughs> Thousands of examples. And it looks like too yeah. that you can start with some basic examples and build on top of them. So you pretty much have an example yeah. to start anywhere, build on top of it, and really build out your infrastructure. Yeah, and this is uh, built by the community, but by a lot of people. It's all according to the best practices. And you see with how many there are available that uh, it will get pretty close to your use case, uh, mm -hmm. Talking if Very you're cool. talking examples. That's really cool. So we can deploy some resources. We can export that template. We can find some templates on GitHub. That's awesome. But 
I still want to know how do I go further? I really need to understand how to offer these and the complexity of it. Because if I get a template out of GitHub, great resource. But what if I need to modify it? I'm really intimidated of how to understand how to do that. And like, what is it going to break or is it going to break my infrastructure? So where, where did you go next in your journey? Yeah, and that's a bit of a risk by from learning by example is that at one point or another, um, you have something that's working, but you don't know why. And you accept okay. that, but that also gives a problem that if it stops working, you probably still don't know why. So it is good that after you have some uh, feeling for that template and what everything is doing, uh, for me, that's the time where I... Uh, go into the documentation. And for a lot of people, this is the other way around. This really depends on your own learning style. But for me, this would be the point where I would look at the Microsoft documentation. For every template that is available there, mm -hmm. uh, there is a reference for that template. So I see some basics here. But if I look at that screen on the left, that mm -hmm. menu, these are all different kinds of resources within Azure that you could use and you could click on and you could click through and get all the information on uh, how that resource is structured and uh, what you can find there. So if I look at a gateway, I get a template format. Very cool. And it shows me what I should fill in for every property in that format. And there's a lot in this example. There is, but application gateways are quite complex. So that's... Yeah a complex example but a good one because we use application gateways all the time no that's really cool so it, it, you have some documentation how to get there where did you go next on your learning jersey how did journey how did you even get a bit further in that journey for you well at this point uh it starts becoming about tooling how are you gonna mm -hmm. write and really alter your own templates maybe even from scratch mm -hmm. and i wanted to show real quickly what visual studio code can do for you and then especially the arm tools uh extension Mm -hmm. because it can basically generate that ARM template for you. It's really impressive. So I have an empty JSON file here called R Azure Deploy.json. And if I just click the A, it says it tells me it has a snippet available, ARM okay. with an explanation point. And if I click tap, I get the basic structure of an ARM template. I do not Very have to cool. memorize all this. It's all just there. Mm -hmm. And I can take that further. So here in resources, I would place a resource. And if I place the hook, it tells here that it has all these snippets available. So okay. if I go to a storage account, for example, mm -hmm. this is the basic context of what I need for a storage account. So wow. okay, cool. I, I could almost deploy this by this. Mm -hmm. So it gives this gives you some great tooling to get that feeling of what is actually necessary. It gives you intelligence with it. Uh, it you can do it on a lower level where it will autofill the properties for you. Uh, it will tell you when some uh, syntax is wrong. So this can really help out once you're ready to start with your own templates. I agree. Your your IDE is so so critical in helping you get started with infrastructure as code because there's so many great built-in extensions to help you author these things and help correct it. And when you do make a mistake, it does pick it up and it does highlight it for you. So that's really, really cool. So tell me, how else did you learn on templates? What other resources did you use? Uh, there's one more, more that I would like to mention because mm -hmm. um, we're throwing resources at you and you might think, well, now I have so many options. I still don't know where to start. Or maybe you're si still a bit confused about what your learning style is. And then Microsoft Learn can come in very handy because it can take you on that guide to get started. And I can show you in Microsoft Learn uh, that you have a website here. This is a web experience. There's a lot of modules available where it has a learning path with uh, specific for ARM templates. So you can walk through all these exercises and it gives you some theory and then an exercise to do something. And uh, here you can get pretty far, like deploy to multiple environments and it starts using what if to test the ARM templates. So it takes you pretty far along your journey Mm -hmm. uh, while holding your hand a bit so you don't get lost on where am I going with this. And I really like that mix between uh, the, the theory and uh, doing it in practice. There's a really good pace to it. And I like that it works you from the beginning, super basic stuff into as technically deep as you want to go with ARM templates. So it's a great journey on Microsoft Learn. Yeah. 
Cool. Thank you so, so much, Barbara. So let's just recap this for a second, because there are so many places to go on your learning journey with with ARM templates. And and we want to get you from not, you know, maybe not knowing how ARM templates structured to being able to deploy one. So we have the the portal where we can, you know, just extract yeah. and uh, download our ARM template from a resource. But then we can go a bit further and look at a lot of the quick start uh, tutorials online. We can start coding it in VS Code, and the IDE helps us fill in the blanks, which is really cool. And we have MS Learn. So, Barbara, thank you so, so much today for coming on the show, telling us about your journey, and it was so awesome to have you here today. Thank you for having me. Thank you for joining us for this episode of the Azure Enablement Show. Now, before you go, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And join us next time for more episodes on the Azure Enablement Show.